Callie, we've got a table full of bullets here. Let's talk about bullet weights. Bullet weight. So one of the most common misconceptions with bullet weight is the grain. The grain isn't referring to the powder inside of the cartridge. It's actually referring to how heavy is the bullet. So Ben, tell me why are we going to use a, a lighter round versus a heavier round? Yeah, so let's take nine millimeter for instance. We have bullets that are 115 grain, 124 grain, 147 grain. Why you may want to use a heavier one in versus a lighter one, a lot of times those lighter bullets might be best suited for training or shooting at the range. But a lot of times for personal defense, people want to have a little heavier bullet to be able to retain a bit more weight to get a bit more penetration. So that's oftentimes why you'd want a heavier bullet. Right, and that, that goes into hunting as well, right? Correct, so with hunting, there's a lot of different grain weights out there as well. Let's use 30 cal as an example. So 30 out six, there's bullets everywhere from 150 grain up to almost 200 grains. And that just depends on what you're going after. So like a whitetail, you might use a lighter weight bullet than you would for say an elk or a mule deer. So in competition shooting, environmentals comes into a factor. We have wind, we have air density, we have the direction we're shooting. How does that affect our bullet weight? Yeah, so oftentimes that heavier bullet is gonna probably buck the wind a bit more, um, but it really just depends on that bullet construction. So it's aerodynamics are gonna play into a factor as well, but you really do need to consider all those factors when you're deciding which bullet that you want. You wanna look at the trajectory. So if it's not very aerodynamic, it's probably gonna lose velocity much quicker. It's gonna drop a lot faster. So all of those aspects come into play of why there are so many different options of bullet weights. 223, one of the most typical weights that you see is 55 grain. And what Callie's shooting, much heavier bullets there, they're much better suited for that long range match type shooting. So let's talk about some of the bullet weights for our pistol ammunition. Yeah, so pistols are not really designed for shooting as far as say rifles. I mean, most of the time you're talking 25 yards and in. So aerodynamics isn't really like a thing that we talk about when we're engineering bullets there, but a lot of times we are talking about weight. We're talking about retaining energy, getting penetration out of those bullets. And oftentimes with those shorter barrel pistols, you're gonna lose velocity versus your standard longer, maybe six inch barrel. So sometimes you're gonna want a heavier bullet to be able to do the job. So there you have it. Anytime you're choosing a bullet weight, it's important to keep your end use in mind.